Hi, on behalf of Kentaurus Medical, I'm Greg Mead and today we're going to break words about the muscle of this area here. It's called Cingulum Extremitatis Superioris. But now before, before we're going to uh, describe muscle, some origin insertions, let's focus first on ligaments and bursas on this area. For example here, we have a sternoclavicular ligament and here we have a chromioclavicular ligament and then here on the head we have capsular ligament here there is transverse ligament, ligament of humerus then here we have coracoacromial ligament I want to show you here this is basically trapezoid and conoid portion of coracoclavicular ligament as well and then here we have a superior, superior transverse uh, scapular ligament which basically uh, forms a suprascapular foramen and through it it goes suprascapular nerve and it's also insertion for homohyoid muscle which depresses hyoid bone. And now let's focus on bursas here. Okay, we have quite big subcutaneous, subcutaneous acromial bursa. Underneath we have subcutaneous bursa. Here we have sub, uh, corot coracoid bursa. And here we have intertubercular tendon sheath as well. So now a little bit about the bursa. Bursa is a um, fluid filled sac and it's located where skin rubs over bone and where muscle, tendon or ligament glides directly over the periosteum of a bone. Uh, basically it decreases friction uh, during movement, right? So now let's focus on the muscle and the actions. First move is this. This is horizontal flexion in GHJ joint. Uh, two main muscles here, deltoid pars clavicularis and coracal uh, brachial muscle. So if we focus on pars clavicularis for the deltoid muscle, it's over here. This is the anterior surface and lateral one third. We can divide the clavicle into two into three thirds and then the last third is the origin of uh, deltoid. And then insertion is on deltoid tuberosity of humerus. And then of course we have coracobrachialis, originates from the tip of corona, coracoid process. This, this part here is also insertion for pectoralis minor and origin for the short head of biceps brachii. And goes down onto the middle third of middle surface of humerus. Good. Another move is extension, extension in GHJ uh, joint. Three main muscles, latissimus dorsi, deltoids, pars spinalis and teres major. If we focus now on latissimus dorsi, it originates from spinous processes of six inferior thoracic vertebra. So one, two, three, four, five, six and all spinous processes of lumbar uh, vertebra, posterior surface of sacrum and posterior surface of iliac crest. And then inserts, this is dorsi, inserts on the floor of intertubercular groove, basically around here, it's insertion. Just proximal to insertion of teres major. Um, now, the nerve supply, latissimus dorsi, gets from thoracal dorsal, thoracal dorsal uh, nerves. Second muscle which I would like to describe is uh, deltoid pars spinalis. This is basically the posterior head. It goes from this area here and goes down to deltoid tuberosity as well. Uh, the deltoid, all of the deltoid heads they get muscle from nerve supply from axillary nerve. And before I forgot, uh, coracobrachialis, 
nerve supply it gets from musculocutaneous. Good. Um, now if we focus on the last muscle which do extension is teres, teres major, posterior surface of scapula and inferior angle and insert over here just proximal to latissimus dorsi on a medial, medial side of intertubercular groove it's called crista, crista, crista tuberculi minoris and now another move is abduction, abduction in glenohumeral joint main muscle here is again uh, deltoid but now past chromialis so lateral and superior part of the chromium over here and it goes down to um, deltoid tuberosity of um, humerus and then another muscle but basically this muscle stabilized the kind of humor joint is uh, supraspinatus muscle, muscle supraspinatus originates in two thirds of supraspinous fossa and it then it goes and inserts here on the superior surface of greater tuberosity of humerus and the nerve supply is suprascapillaris nerve right and now another muscle and another move is horizontal adduction. The main muscle here is pectoralis major. It originates now on the anterior middle surface of clavicle and then it uh, originates uh, from sternum and costal cartilages from first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth, so basically costa vera, true ribs origin, and from external aponeurosis of external oblique muscle as well and inserts over here this is basically lateral part of intertubercular groove or crista tuberculi majoris this is now a deduction and now let's focus on external rotation in glenohumeral joints external rotation is basically done from two muscles teres minor and infraspinatus if you focus now first on teres minor, which, uh, which gets nerve supply from axillaris, it originates over here. This is lateral border, now about uh, middle, middle surface of lateral border, and inserts over here on greater tuberosity of humerus. I want to show you something now here. We said that here it's an insertion of supraspinatus right here we said this insertion of teres minor and then here it will be insertion of infraspinatus so now we're focusing on infraspinatus infraspinatus fossa posterior view and inserts on greater tuberosity of humerus suprascapular nerve is nerve supply for infraspinatus and now the last move we have internal rotation two main muscles first is subscapular muscle which originates on the anterior surface of scapula nerve supply you get from subscapularis nerve and goes here on the uh, lesser tuberosity of humerus and then we have again uh, teres major, we said for teres major it does uh, extension and also internal rotation so inferior angle and it goes over here proximal to latissimus dorsi in insertion that's it, thank you